Now to talk about his midseason draft rankings, here is the original hockey insider Bob McKenzie. And Bob, when we spoke before the season, you talked about a big three of Macklin Celebrini, Cole Iserman, and Ivan Demidoff. Of the three, Celebrini remains at the top, but Iserman and Demidoff have dropped. Iserman to four, Demidoff out of the top five altogether. Is Celebrini's grip on the top spot in the rankings stronger than even before the season? Uh, I don't think there's any question about that. Um, Celebrini's had a great year at BU. He played well at the World Junior Championship, even though Team Canada didn't do that well. So, yeah, he's continuing to just get better and better and better. Uh, might be a franchise player uh, in the National Hockey League, but he's going to be impactful whatever, whatever way you slice it. So, uh, yeah, it's the Macklin-Celebrini draft, and it's difficult to envision anyone other than Celebrini at number one when they call out a name in... Uh, Las Vegas at the Sphere, okay, at the Sphere. They're having a draft at the Sphere where you too opened up. Uh, interesting times we live in. Indeed, Bob, interesting times indeed. Let's talk about the two players who replaced Iserman and Demidoff, the top five. Anton Siliev is six foot seven. He's a defenseman. He goes from ninth to second. And Caden Lindstrom is a six foot three center. He plays for the Medicine Hat Tigers. He goes from an honorable mention to fifth, how do you account for their jump in the rankings, Bob? Well, um, National Hockey League uh, general managers, scouts, uh, they do like their size, and it doesn't get any bigger than six foot seven Anton Siliev. Uh, and he is a guy that can do it. He's a great skater at that size. Uh, he can chip in offensively, he can shut down defensively. Um, if he hits the way that the scouts think he might hit, um, he might get himself in the universe of a guy like Victor Hedman. That is a potential number one defenseman in the National Hockey League. And he's playing against men in the KHL. Now, there's all the, the same proviso as always lately with the Russians because of the sanctions and everything else. General managers, North American scouts can't go to Russia to see this guy in person. And as a result, everything they're seeing is on video. That could ultimately hurt you a little bit on draft day um, because a general manager certainly isn't going to make a decision between Celebrini and, and uh, Siliev um, based on Siliev's video. It it's, it's, uh, makes things a little uncomfortable, but he's still a blue chip prospect and, uh, and has earned everything he's done so far this season. As for Lindstrom, he scored 37 goals in 42 games. And uh, he's a big, powerful guy that can play a physical brand of hockey, but also has that goal-scoring ability. So you put the two together, uh, position he plays, potential number one NHL center, to be six foot three, six foot two, around there, two hundred and ten pounds, hard-driving guy that's physical and scores thirty-seven goals in forty-two games. Yeah, that's why he's up, up, up in the draft. Although he's injured right now, uh, probably won't be back until around mid-February, but uh, it shouldn't hurt him too much. Uh, before I let you go, I was in Saskatchewan over the weekend, and I have to show you the person I am now referring to as Cowboy Bob McKenzie. His name is Bruce. Terrific guy. Uh, what do you think of, of Bruce, Bob? Because in my opinion, uh, Bruce is, is pretty much a doppelganger for you. Well, Bruce looks to me like a very good-looking man. That's the first thing I would say. <laughs> um, maybe not as good-looking as some, but... Whatever. In any case, uh, nice to meet Bruce. Nice to meet you. Glad you had a good time in uh, Saskatchewan. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jay.